Don't make the mistake in thinking you're not making mistakes. Being able to analyze mistakes uh, uh, logically to see why it was made and, you know, what else can come out of that mistake or, you know, maybe it takes you to a more efficient path. Who knows? But I think there's a, a lesson to be learned in every mistake or failure that we make. My theory of a mistake is you only make one mistake. The rest is carelessness. When you are able to like and admit your mistake or see your mistake before other people do you kind of get rid of that that whole like either blame part or that part where you kind of feel like a little bit embarrassed about something that you did we judge others by their actions the unfortunate part is we judge ourselves by our intentions not our actions it's okay to make mistakes you learn from them no one ever gets fired for making a mistake but people do get fired for covering up mistakes to cause maximum damage, fail to admit it. I love exactly. that. Accept what the person says in the most generous manner possible instead of going, oh, here it is again. I have, you know, I have the ability to improve in these areas, but I'm still confident I can perform and I can still do the task, but I can take feedback and I can accept feedback and I can get better. So it's a great balance of being humbly confident. I thought that was a, a, a good term. You're 20% more productive if you're able to reflect and draw lessons from those mistakes. Putting what we think is the true problem up and then trying to define what is causing the problem and look at solutions to the causes, we might end up finding that the true problem is what we determine as a cause in the initial analysis. I'm making mistakes, therefore I'm getting better, therefore I'm not gonna do that again. If I'm not doing something that's optimal, uh, let me know so I can figure out how to be optimal. All mistakes are fixable. Yeah, it's either going to be this kind of consequence or this kind, but it's fixable. You just have to figure out the best solution and be solution oriented, which is what we're ultimately looking for, solution oriented people that will better the company. Side, you should be resilient. You should be able to take the critique. Yes, it's going to hurt for a second and that's okay. And it's okay to take your hour. It's okay to take your 20 minutes and but then it's time to come back and, and take their, and accept and move forward. There's nothing stinkier than fake feedback. We know <laughs> when we did something wrong and you're covering it up with, nah, it was good. If it's done with mutual respect and if it's done from, that, from, from a good place, even if it's negative feedback, it's still good, right? How we say things is also as, as important as how we receive things. Let's redefine the definition of mistake. What I did, I wrote down mistake equals opportunity to get better, right? So if you approach every conversation with this is an opportunity for us to get better instead of having the mindset of you made a mistake, I think if you're always trying to get better, you're going to avoid doing it over and over again because you're focused on becoming better each time. You get what I'm saying? But if we say things, if we can accept it no matter how it's said, how much better can we be?